on this channel, what's going on right now is what happens sometimes uh, once a year or about every 18 months. Where every blue moon I'll be feeling it necessary for me to get on here and get after me a negro. For maybe a week straight, sometimes too. Then I go back to what I was doing before then, whatever that was. I think the first person I ever did like this was L.A. And that was damn near nine years ago. Bygones be bygones, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Because we interact these days like none of that ever even happened. A few people I've done like that. Boyce Watkins with the Charles Wu thing. I was after him for, I think, about maybe a week straight. With nothing but Boyce on my channel. It's been a couple of more people. It's not as high profile as Boyce, but it don't matter to me. But this does happen every blue moon where I'll get on here up in my feelings about a Negro. Then it'll be over with. When? When will it be over with? When I'm finished. Now, I don't have no channel where I just obsess and stalk somebody as if they're the only ones on the, in the, on the world wide web that's worth talking about. And we all know them kind of channels that would just talk about the same one, two, four or five people as if nobody else exists on YouTube. I don't fuck around like that, but every now and again, like I said, I got to get after me a Negro. So this is what's been going on for a while. And to the folk who only came here for Big J, good looking out. Good looking out. I appreciate y'all's participation. But listen, there would be no, if this is what you're expecting, listen. There will be no months and months and years and years worth of this. Because whoever that was that commented over here and got deleted for telling me it's more important things that's going on than Big J, they was right. There are more important things than him, but not right now it ain't. Not right now. Right now, the most important thing on earth right now to me is doing what I'm doing. Doing what I want to do. That's the most important thing to me. Now, what else is going on in the world? I say, what's the most important thing on earth to me? Not you. Now, before I started doing these videos recently, for nearly a year and a half, knowing that I don't want no contact with him, he knows this. Before about a year and a half, this dude has not stopped commenting on my videos and getting deleted. He's tagged me many times, knowing that I desired no contact with him. And he even shared one of my videos. Commenting, tagging, and sharing are things that we do when we want the person to know that we're there. Right? Even when I was doing the videos about Cynthia G about two months ago. Right, it's been about two months ago. It's been about two months, right? Around two months since she got her channel terminated. Right, but even when I was doing those videos about her, he tagged me then. I didn't click on the video, but I did get the notification. Right, and that's another thing. Anytime, anytime I talk about censorship, he claims my video as being about him, as if he created the subject of censorship. Big J been doing that for I think about uh, five years since the Copa, since the Copa thing. Some of y'all remember the Copa thing that came out. Almost any time I did a censorship video, here he go responding, as if he's the only one on here. I hear uh, about uh, being pro censorship, as if he's the only one. Make YouTube safe for content again. That came from the gamer genre. That came from the gamma genre, and it made its way over here to the Negro Leagues. If Big J hear me make mockery of the, the saying, make YouTube safe for content again, he'll go on his channel swam before God that he's the only one who says that, or as if he invented the term. Big J does fit the description of many things that I talk about. But anyway, 
I brought that thing up about the censorship and the commenting and the sharing and the tagging to illustrate his level of attention whoring. The dude is conflict driven. He's a pest and a nuisance. I've seen people on here asking, requesting, and demanding that he stop tagging them, and he won't stop. And of course, you, you can be over to his channel to hear him, He's because he's likely going to get on his channel and say that he does what he does because of what they do. Or he's doing to people what they do to other people. He's going to do something to cover up his war-mindedness. He's going to put his actions onto what other people are doing. I don't know exactly how he's going to do it, but that's what he's going to do. If he hears this video. But yeah, he's been seeking contact with me for a year and a half. And when I heard him throw my name at BGS, that was it. This is why you see what you see on this channel. And he just tagged me again this morning and the day before that. And his excuse will be because I'm doing these videos about him right now, even though he's been doing that already for a year and a half before these recent videos. But it'll be over soon, just like the other ones. It didn't take long, just like with the other people. Just like the last time in 2022, it didn't take long. It took by maybe about a week or so, about two weeks when I went after uh, Big J. About two weeks. It'll be over soon. Especially because I learned long ago that it's only a matter of time before return fire turns you into that thing that you don't like. So much of that is no longer tit for tat. Now you are actually it now. You are that thing now that you don't like. After so much of the tit for tat and return fire and everything, now you are it. And I don't plan on letting something like that I don't plan on letting something that I don't like turn me into it. So it'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. Well, how soon is soon? What do you mean by soon? How long does soon take to happen? When I'm finished. That's when soon is. 